Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel, Same Pretty with Jay. My name is Chanel, and today I want to share with you guys what's in my current everyday makeup stash. I do have it in an acrylic organized over here on my vanity. I am wearing a lot of those products on my face today. Um, so we're going to go over which products um, I currently have been using lately. Um, a lot of these products also are products I wanted to pan for this year as well. So I did throw some products like that inside there, along with some products that I need to reach for more. And um, don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button. Let's get straight into this video. Okay guys, so this is my acrylic organizer. I got this at Ulta. This is the old version. They do have a new version available. This one was clearance out and I paid about like $17 for it. There's like a little bit of a crack on the side, but it's not really that noticeable and it's not broken. Um, it's pretty good quality but it's not the best it can be a little bit wobbly on the sides like when you pull something out it can like you know mess up a little bit but for the $17 I paid for it, that's a pretty good deal these can be very very expensive depending on what brand you get um, I will link a, um, put the link down below for the new version down below if you guys want to check it out at Ulta it is $39.99 um, so right here, I just have my lip scrub that I've been using currently. This one is from the brand The Sugar Case on Etsy. It's in Georgia Peach. And I've been trying to like finish this because I have quite a few lip scrubs. Um, I did quite um, a good number on this so far. It still has a lot of product left though, but this is really nice. It smells really really good just like peaches and it keeps my lips exfoliated and moisturized I like to use this maybe like one or two times a week it just depends if my lips are like dry or not and then on top of here I just have brushes so like hair brushes so we're just gonna ignore that part this is not a part of the this is not a part of the video so I'm just gonna move these aside so on the top shelf there's no dividers in the top shelf but I put my eyeshadow palette and um, I also put an eye primer in here. So I have the Juvia's Place Vanessa palette in here. I also have the Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette. And then my Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Eye Primer, which I did use today. And I've been using this in a lot of my videos. So I'm just going to show you guys the inside of these palettes. These are like perfect for everyday wear. You can do so many looks with this. Lots of nice neutral shades. This one is pretty messy since I've been using it so much. But I just like the fact that you get so many dark shades on this side and it goes to light. And then we have a row of mattes and then a row of metallic shades. And they like correspond with each other. So this is a really nice palette. I do like Morphe palettes and this is definitely one of my favorites. And then I also have the Vanessa palette from Juvia's Place. This is a really good everyday palette as well. You do get a couple colors in here as well as the orange and the pink shade. And then there's two metallics and four mattes. I've been using this brown shade a lot. I've try I'm trying to hit pan on this one as well as the nude shade. This is like the perfect nude for like um, blending out any type of dark browns and also really good to set your brow bone with as well. This is a really nice palette. I'll swatch a couple of colors. And let's swatch the orange too. So those are some swatches. Now the next three drawers do have dividers in them. You cannot remove the dividers, they are just there. Um, this one is the biggest drawer and then these two are the same size, medium. So on this side, I decided to include my brow products and some lash products. And then on this side, I decided to put my lip glosses and lipsticks. I was going to put it on the top, but this Fenty lip gloss is kind of like stuck a bit when I try to put it in the top. So that's why I put the lip glosses and other lip products down here. And here is a close-up of the drawer. So I do have my Anastasia Brow Freeze, which I've been using like crazy. It's like half empty. 
And then this is a Juvia's Place foundation, but I like to use this one for carving out my eyebrows, so that's why it's in this drawer. Um, this one is literally almost empty too. And then I just have my lash glue, which I did use today to apply my lashes. This one is from Kiss. And then for mascara, I've been using my Benefit Their Real Magnet Mascara. And then I also have my NYX, the brow glue, in here as well. This is almost empty. I'm just trying to finish it. It's not one of my favorites, but it's okay. And then I also have this Benefit Brow Contour Pro Pencil, which is discontinued. This is almost empty as well. I'm just trying to finish it. And then I have the Juvia's Place Brow Pen in Dark Brown. I've been using this literally every single time I do my eyebrows. This is one of my favorites. I did use it today. And then on the bottom, I just have some lash applicator from Velour. Okay, so moving on to this side, I do have a lot of nude lip products. So this one is Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Heat. This is really pretty. Um, it's not a nude, it's more like a rosy pink. But on my lips, it's very sheer and it just brings out my natural lip color even more. So I really like this gloss for every day and it's very juicy looking and shiny. And then of course I have to have my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Cream in the shade Fenty Glow. This one is perfect for everyday wear. It literally goes with everything and anything. And then I also have a NYX Butter Gloss in Bit of Honey. I do want to do like a My Lips But Better video, so you guys are going to see these three lip glosses right here in that video. But this is Bit of Honey. I love the butter glosses. This one is more on the sheer side as well. And I forgot to say the Fenty one is more pigmented than these two. And then I also have another NYX lip gloss. Don't be scared by the color. Um, this is actually a very clear sheer gloss. It barely has a blue tint to it. This is the This Is Milky Gloss in um, FOMU. I did do a lip combination with like a whole video of lip combos for dark skin tones. I'll link that video down below if you guys want to see what this looks like on my lips. And then moving on to one of my favorite lip glosses. This was also in that nude lip gloss combo. This one is Dangerous Curse by MAC. I just love MAC lip glasses. They're one of the best formulas. And then another MAC product I have in here is a patent lip polish in, in um, the shade French Kiss. This is more like a lip balm. It's very sheer, but it's literally like my lip color. This is my second tube of this. I'm so upset that they discontinue these, but these are so, so nice. And then over here, I also have... I think this is the only... Yeah, this is the only lipstick I put in here. This one is a dark brown shade from Thread Beauty. I did do a whole entire review on Thread Beauty lipsticks and also their foundation sticks. So if you guys want to see that video, I'll link that down below as well. And I completely forgot about this lip gloss. This is my LYS Speak Love Glossy Lip Treatment Oil. Um, it was in the drawer, but I was using it earlier this morning, so that's why I forgot it on my dresser. But this one's like... I want to say I finished about like 40% of the product. I do plan on getting another one of these. And here are some swatches of the lip products. This is the LYS um, lip oil. And then we have Maybelline, Fenty, NYX. These two are NYX right here. Then this one was the MAC lip glass. And then the MAC, the MAC um, patent lip polish. And then the Thread Beauty lipstick. Which I forgot to mention the shade of that one. It is Truth. Okay, so moving on to the third drawer. I don't have many products inside here. Um, on this side, I just have bronzer and highlighter. And then on this side, I do have blushes. So just a close-up. I have Julia's Place um, Bronzer Duo in Dark. I have the Rich Glow Obsessions from Huda Beauty, which is a highlighter palette. And then I have Such a Rush from Colourpop, which is a cheek palette that has a bronzer, two blushes, and a highlighter. Um, I don't use the bronzer in here because it's too light for my skin tone. It's like literally my skin tone color. So I use it to contour my nose. And then I love the blushes inside here. I am wearing these two mixed together today. And then I did use the bronzer duo from Juvia's Place as well today. 
And then on this side, I have an LYS blush. This one is in Confident. And then I have my Blushing Bubbles palette from Metamorphosis, which is an indie brand. So I like using this one for every day because I do have two colors in here and I can just mix these together. Or you can see this one is my most used shade. I use this one all the time, especially if I have like a, a cream contour underneath and I just want something to set it but not really make it any darker. I would just use this one because this is a perfect bronzer shade for me. This one's a little bit deeper and it can look a little bit crazy if I put too much on. So I normally mix these two together or I use only this one. And it does come with a mirror and this is very travel friendly and it's only $18. And of course Juvia's Place always has different sales going on. So I will swatch these for you guys. But those are some swatches. The lighter shade and the darker shade. And this palette would also be good for like all year round because you can have your summer shade here and your winter shade here and not have to worry about having a bunch of compacts in your makeup collection. Here is a close-up of the Such A Rush palette from Colourpop. And I'll show you guys the back as well so you guys can see the shade names. So you guys can see how blinding the highlight is. And let me pick up the other ones too. And those are the swatches of the Such A Rush palette from Colourpop. And moving on to the Huda Beauty highlighter. Sorry guys, the lighting is reflecting off the palette. It's making it darker and lighter. But I'm gonna show you guys like the true color. And then this is the back of the palette. I did purchase this from Sephora. This is $29. This one is a small size. Much smaller than her other highlighter palettes, but I'm really happy she made it this size because I don't really use too much highlighter. So this is like the perfect size for me. So this is the inside of the palette. This is the darkest palette by the way, and these colors are so beautiful. You have a bronze shade, and then you have rose gold, you have a gold shade, and then this one's more kind of like a taupey bronze. These are very blinding, and you do get a mirror with this palette as well. And those are the swatches of the highlighter palette. And this is my LYS blush in the shade Confident. Normally when I reach for a cream blush, this is like one of the first ones I reach for. So that's why I included it in my stash. A very pretty spicy pink shade great for every day it can go with so many different looks and this is my blushing bubbles palette from metamorphosis mine's is a little bit dirty and um, my giraffe started peeling off but it's still really cute I love the packaging um, these are the colors and you do get a mirror in here as well This is my favorite blush palette. I use this all the time. My most used most used shade inside here is Your Cutie, Fruity over here, and then Chiclet over here. But I've used every single shade in this palette and I love all of them. Very vibrant colors, great for a large variety of skin tones. And perfect for spring and summer. So we have Fruity, Bubblegum, Juicy Fruit, Your Cutie, Tootie, and Chiclet. Okay, so moving on to the last drawer, I have all my face products in here. So I have setting powders, my press powder, and then on this side I have concealer, foundation, and primer. So I have my e.l.f. Power Grip, which I've been loving. As you can see, it's literally almost empty. I'm gonna have to buy another one. And then uh, for foundation, I've been using the Morphe Filter Effect Foundation. I'm in the shade Rich 28, which I am wearing this foundation today. It's a little bit less than half empty, so I'm just trying to pan this. 
And then my favorite concealer of all time is Fenty Beauty. So this is always going to be here. I use this literally every single time I do my makeup, either for my brows or under my eyes. Today I used it for both. And I also have my Mented Foundation Stick in here as well. I'm in the shade M10. And I forgot to mention the concealer shade for Fenty Beauty is in the shade 410. But this is the Mented Foundation Stick like I said. And this is what it looks like. I've only used it a couple of times which is why I decided to include it inside here so I can reach for it more. But it is a really nice foundation stick. And then I just have this concealer from Too Faced. This is their Peach Matte Instant Coverage Concealer in the shade Peanut Butter. This is a limited edition concealer. This one is a cream concealer since it's in a little pomade. And I'll open it up to show you guys. I've used it a couple of times but I haven't reached for it lately. So that's why I included it in the stash as well. Okay, so this is what the concealer looks like. It's pretty creamy. And I'll just do a swatch on the back of my hand. Okay, so the last two things I had on that side is my KKW concealer in the shade 12. This is almost empty. I'm trying to finish it. It's a really good concealer. And then this one is a Juvia's Place concealer I use for cream contouring. And this one's in the shade number 5. Okay, so moving back to this side, I do have my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter um, Soft Matte Powder Foundation in the shade 410. Let me just put this down and show you guys the inside because I used a lot of this. So you can know this is just one of my favorite products. I do need to buy another one soon, but I just want to finish it first. It's a really good finisher for your makeup and it's also really good on its own as well. It does come with a sponge but as you can see I never use mine. I do have to clean my compact though. And you do have a mirror on this side and then you have a mirror on this side too. But mine's is like really dirty as I use it like literally every single day. And then I do have two setting powders I've been using lately. Um, this one is from AC Cosmetics. This one is their translucent, but one. this one is from an indie brand that is black owned as well. This is a really good setting powder. It's I feel like this is a dupe for the Too Faced Peach Perfect, which is my all-time favorite, but it's been discontinued. So this is definitely going to be replacing that powder for me. I do have two of these. I have another one in a darker shade, which is Butternut Beige, but I haven't opened it yet. And then the last product I have in here is my Anastasia Beverly Hills setting powder. This is a really big powder, but I actually really like the packaging because they made the walls pretty deep and the cap is very large and I like to pour my powder into the cap. But lately, I actually been shaking up the entire powder and just been using it on top of the shifter and dipping my sponge in there. But this is almost empty. It's a beautiful color, especially for like darker skin tones. You can definitely see that like golden peach tone to it. Mine's is almost empty. I would say there's maybe like one third of product or maybe one fourth of product left inside here. So I'm just trying to finish it up. This is definitely one of my favorite um, with what I picked out. Um, also, I didn't want to like fill up too many stuff inside here because I don't really use much different products each day. I usually grab like the same two or three items every single time from like each category. So that's why I minimized it inside here instead of having to always go through my Alex drawers and pick up pick out stuff like one by one every time. It's just so much easier to have it inside here. So I know exactly where it is and I can just grab it. It saves time doing my makeup especially when I'm in a rush. And then the only other two things I have to say is I have these two setting sprays over here because obviously they can't fit in here. So I just put them on the side and these are the two I've been using currently. This one is the Benefit Pour Professional Super Setter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I have two of these. I'm trying to finish this one. It's still, it's still pretty full. There's maybe like 80% left of product in here. 
and then the Too Faced one is a little less than half empty. This is like one of my ride or die products. It's like one of my holy grails. Um, I want to say I've been through maybe eight bottles of these over the years. They're so, so good. This is a peach one. You can also find a lot of great affordable organizers at TJ Maxx, Dollar Tree, Marshalls, Ross, DDs, and Amazon. It doesn't have to be a drawer organizer like this one. You can also use a tray as well if you have less makeup than I do. And here's just a close-up of how my makeup is looking today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.